Hey Gemini, how are you guys? Welcome to your general love reading for the first half of October 2022. This reading is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs and it might be for yourself or you might be cross-watching. Either way, this is a general reading so it's not going to be everybody's situation and the roles can definitely be reversed regardless of whether you are cross-watching or watching for yourself. If you would like a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. All right, Gemini, let's see what is going on with you <clears throat> in a love connection. First couple weeks of October 2022 for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. And this time around, I will be focusing more on your energy and just a little bit on the other person, but we'll see also what comes through. All right, Gemini. <clears throat> Starting off the reading, we have the star crossed by the Page of Swords. Ooh, okay, so there is, oh, it feels like there's a big wish here. Something that is just, um, I feel like it's, it's really on your mind, like really wanting something a lot. But the communication seems to be off in terms of having this, all right, or in terms of moving towards this. This is also Aquarius energy, so <clears throat> this might... Um, mean something to somebody, all right, you might be dealing with an Aquarius or maybe you have strong Aquarius. For the recent past, we have the Five of Swords. So, okay, it feels like there was some kind of a betrayal here, some kind of a deception. We'll see more when we clarify. For your consciousness, we have the Two of Swords. For your subconscious, we have the King of Swords. All right, lots of swords. <laughs> we have a major arcana card and then everything else so far is swords, okay? So this is in your element, but this could also be that, you know, you are thinking a lot, <clears throat> um, possibly stressing a lot. Um, with the two of swords, it could be that, you know, in your mind, you're just kind of like, you know what? I, like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know if I even need to know what I'm gonna do. I'm just, you know, not gonna make some kind of a decision right now and just kind of, blocking that out, blocking out any kind of decision. Um, however, deep down though, there is that part of you that wants to make a decision. There, there's like this drive deep within pushing you to make a decision and you're just like, nope, <clears throat> I'm not. I'm just letting things be the way they are. Um, so I don't know if that's good or bad. We will see what the guidance is and it could be, you know, that for the time being, you know, this is just um, where you need to be. So in your energy, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, good. For the other person, the Seven of Pentacles. Coming up, the Four of Swords. And the message for you is the Emperor. Okay. <clears throat> so it doesn't look, it doesn't look negative, actually. It doesn't look negative. I feel like, you know, this is just where you just need to be right now this two of swords but you know also not fully ignore that you are in that two of swords energy you're definitely working towards something so i don't see you being that stagnant like you i, I feel like you know whatever this two of swords is about whatever this decision is you're just focusing on other things right now you're focusing on other things and i feel like you know whatever this is it's kind of like working in the background of your mind here so it's like, yeah, you know, it's kind of like you are working towards making that decision. You're just like not having that at the forefront, not really focusing on that at the moment. Uh, the other person here, this is somebody who is, <clears throat> I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> We're going to clarify, but I get that they're like doing something doing little things, but not ultimately getting the results that they would want, or you're not getting the results that you would want from this person. And it just looks like overall in this connection with the other person, you're putting in or you have been putting in more effort than they have. There is some healing that is coming up here for you with that Four of Swords. Um, I see you coming up like still just kind of being like, yeah, you know, I'm just going to let this heal. I'm just going to let this play out. I'm not going to do much about it. But then the message for you here is the Emperor. And the Emperor is all about taking charge. So, yeah. Gemini, let's clarify. Let's see. Let's see 
<clears throat> the star with the page of swords. And we have the ten of pentacles, the queen of wands, and the ten of cups. Wow. Whatever this is that you want, it is strong. It is strong. Um, I feel like, you know, there's... I don't know if it's this person. For some of you, it definitely could be. For others of you, it might not be. But you're really wanting this stability, this love connection. And almost like there's this... <clears throat> it's like you have this belief or this like certainty within you that yeah you know what it doesn't matter what I do right now I don't need to make a decision because this is gonna happen like it can't be any other way like I don't even need to talk about it <clears throat> I don't even need to do anything like this is I'm gonna have this ten of pentacles and this ten of cups I'm gonna have love I'm gonna have stability I'm gonna have commitment I'm gonna have all of these things like they're just going to come <laughs> but let's Let's see. This is very interesting, Gemini. I feel like you're um, you're very optimistic that things are going to work out. Let's see. Five of Swords for the recent past. The Five of Pentacles and the Devil. What happened here? Okay, so there was something really, really, really intense and devastating in the recent past it's like there's some huge kind of a disappointment um possibly it could be a rejection but it doesn't necessarily have to be rejection i'm seeing it more as feeling like okay you know what i i, I was left alone um there was a betrayal either me to my own self or from the other person and i feel like this happened because of some kind of a negative pattern or like a toxic attachment, which could be anything. Um, so I think that's going to mean different things to different people, but yeah, it's like something happened here that was really, really negative and it just left somebody feeling very much alone. And obviously because this reading is focusing on you, I do get that that's you unless the roles are reversed. <clears throat> okay. Let's see that Two of Swords. Which is your conscience is the Hierophant and the Three of Cups. Okay, so we do have Taurus showing up. We had um, Cap uh, Capricorn as well. Sorry, I do see Aries and, like I said, also Aquarius. All right, Gemini. Yeah, <laughs> there's either third parties involved here, and this is why you're just, like, not choosing to do anything about it um, or just not really taking much action. It could be that one of the two of you... Um, might have some kind of, like... I don't want to say addiction exactly, but more of like this tendency to want to be very, very social, maybe very, very flirty. Um, but then there's also this sense of wanting commitment. And so I feel like there's like two sides to this. And this is why you're not really making a decision or you're just not really doing anything and just letting things play out. Because if this is you, there's one side of you where it's like, you know what, I want to be social. I want to have experiences. I just want to have fun. I don't want anything really <clears throat> um, heavy right now or very solid or something that is going to make me feel very um, committed and tied down for whatever reason, right? And if this is you, it could be because of this person, whatever. And then <clears throat> on the other hand, uh, for others of you, if this is the other person, it's the same thing. Um, it's just that it's them having both of these, like juggling these two energies or having like this battle between the two. And then so you're like, you know what? Like, I, there's nothing I can do. Like you either want commitment or you don't. And so, yeah, you're not, you're not doing much here.
Let's see the King of Swords. Strength, okay, so Leo's energy and the Six of Wands. All right, very similar energies here, um, at least the way that it's showing up for me. You're wanting to make a decision though. <laughs> That's the thing. That's what's confusing me here. You're wanting to make a decision. It's there. You, you want to take a certain path and I feel like it just requires um, a lot of courage from your end. <clears throat> a lot of strength um, and a lot of, you know what, like I, I got to do this and I'm going to be successful. And the interesting thing is that I kind of like believe you that what like your optimism that that's it, that it's also your intuition like you just know um normally i would be like you know get out of this two of swords energy but for some reason for you gemini it's feeling like okay you know something might happen here um for the best let's see the eight of pentacles in your energy because it's like you're not really stagnant. You're just not doing something right now about this because you're feeling like maybe it's not time. Okay, so for the Eight of Pentacles, we have the Five of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. Hmm. You're really focused on something here. Um, I don't know what this is. You're focused on something where you are feeling like there might be some resistance from other people, like trying either to hold you back or there's just, it's something that is very competitive maybe and so you really need to focus and that's why you're focusing and I do see you moving towards success here. All right, we have that with the Six of Wands here and that King of Swords and it doesn't matter what is what the, this decision is that you're trying to make, you're moving towards success. It's like you're focusing on what it is that you need to focus on in order to put you on that path. And so you are very focused on that. You are taking it step by step in the way that you need to, even though it's like doing this also, it's like, it's a little bit conflicting with something else, like something here to do with your connection with this person, right? Where you're not like really doing much about it. You're not making a decision. You're just letting it be. And then what you're working towards, these two things, they're somehow interrelated, but they're also like, they feel contradictory. So maybe whatever it is that you're working towards feels like it would be countering whatever the decision is that you want to make with this person here or it's like yeah they're at odds with each other and so this can be a little bit confusing um or this can might create some conflict within you in terms of your goals and what you're trying to do here or what you're trying to work towards but it's like i see it working out anyway um so just you know go with it i guess that's that's what i'm seeing here all right gemini if this is resonating for anybody, please do leave me a comment and let me know, like, because I'd be very curious, because I can't even think of an example of, like, of this. Okay, so let's see Seven of Pentacles for the other person. The Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. So this person has an issue possibly um, with their sense of self-worth. I do see them working on it. This is something that they are that they are building. Um, this is somebody who does have a lot of love for you. They possibly have, not possibly, they do have compassion for you, but I don't know like how apparent it is. They might be, they might be keeping it to themselves because I do see communication being a little bit of an issue here um, for you and this other person. But but they do have this love. It's like they do feel for you, but I feel like, you know, they're just not where you are in terms of being able to focus and putting in so much effort. But whatever the case, this is somebody who is working on their on their self self-worth and trying to boost their either their own abundance. It could be um money related. So this person might even feel a little bit intimidated by you or 
they're just feeling a little bit low about themselves because of financial situations and feeling like you know that was something that would be important even if it's not important to you I do feel like they're also trying to um, become independent from something here and this could be from somebody else in certain cases or in that Queen of Cups like especially if if there's a third party who is a water sign okay for some of you but this person is putting in some effort they're just not getting the results that they would want just yet but they are working towards it in a positive way let's see the four of swords for what is coming up the four of wands and death oh okay so a major transition here I feel like, you know, what's coming up, because there was pain in the past here, right? That, the, I mean, the Five of Swords, Five of Pentacles, Devil, there was something here in the recent past that was very, very unhealthy. Um, and that there may have been a betrayal or a deception, as I said, which left you feeling like, you know, you were left out in the cold. There's... It's like a, a cycle is ending. There's a big transition here, moving towards something different and that something different is going to be more stable so whatever that is what from the past there's healing surrounding that so I feel like you are the one actually healing from this could be the other person as well but it's like there's an ending here there's some kind of an ending to something that was that seemed to be um, very stable so it could even be that you, you're just not having any expectations and that's why you're in this two of swords and i actually see this as a good thing because i feel like it's leading you to more stability in whatever way it could be in terms of a relationship or it could be in terms of your own self it could be in terms with with this person it really depends let's see the emperor Ooh, the world and the Knight of Cups. Yeah. Yeah, the message for you is, you know what? <laughs> focus on whatever it is that you're focusing on here, right? With that Eight of Pentacles. Like, keep doing that. Keep focusing on that work. Even if it feels contradictory to everything else, I really do feel like your intuition is right here where you're just like, you know what? If I'm going to have that Ten of Pentacles and that Ten of Cups, like, I'm going to have it. Like, it's, it's going to come. And it's not going to come by me focusing on this situation. It's going to come by me focusing on other things. And that's what you're doing. That's what you're doing. And doing that, it's bringing about some kind of a completion that needs to happen. And I feel like that's why you're actually not making a decision because something else needs to end here. And I do see that happening. There's an ending. You are healing. And again, an ending here, and what does that do? This ending, it brings in the Knight of Cups, which is a love offer. Might be this person, might be somebody new. But it is a Knight of Cups, and <laughs> I feel like that's going to be the start to you actually getting that Ten of Cups, which you know is coming. And that's why you're so cool and confident about it and you're just not really doing anything or making any decisions because you just know it's going to come and you're just focusing on everything else and you know that all of this is kind of working underneath the surface or in the background. All right, Gemini. Wow, interesting reading. If this resonated, please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And let's get the final message for you. And we have a new life. There you go. Exactly what I've been saying. <laughs> like, there's an ending here and it's leading to something new. And I really feel like that new life is that Ten of Pentacles, that Ten of Cups. You know, your, your wish fulfillment, basically, with the star. So that is it, Gemini. Um, thank you so much for watching and much love.